Welcome to Bou Argoub, which is an agricultural settlement on the road between Tunis and Hammamet. And behind me, you see Villa Zodiac, or as it's more commonly known, Mussolini's Palace. Let's walk around and see what we can find. <laughs> This place is a very rare example of modernist architecture from the 1930s. It was built in 1935 uh, and I guess it's so extravagant compared to the surrounding agricultural buildings that all the local people thought it must have been built for Benito Mussolini, the Italian dictator at the time. Uh, but it wasn't, so that's an urban legend. So even though it's called Mussolini, even though people call it Mussolini's villa, there's no evidence it was actually built for Mussolini. It was actually built for the Garcia family, who I assume were very wealthy Italian colonialists. And it was built by Ugo Chiarini, or designed by Ugo Chiarini, who is a, an Italian architect. Uh, the reason it's called Zodiac Villa is because there's actually Zodiac mosaics inside. So I'm hoping we can actually wander in and take a look around. So it looks as though the whole place is actually being lived in right now. So there's a number of different families have closed off sections of it. Um, Someone has kindly let me come in, so I'm gonna come in and see which section this guy has managed to get hold of. And I'm hoping we can see some of the interior decorations, let's see. So here's one of the zodiac symbols in this, this man's kitchen. So that's the reason why this place is named that, because of the incredible mosaics. Look at this. And I guess these are dotted all through, but it's actually been kind of subdivided. So we can see he's got this small section and then the rest must be elsewhere. Wow. Right, let's wander up the spiral staircase and see what we can find at the top. Oh, this looks a little bit dangerous, but anyway, up we go. don't think that's part of the original artwork. <laughs> okay, so this is all closed off as well up here. It looks like someone's turned this into some kind of electronics workshop. You can see in here, someone's been fixing things. Okay. Okay, no, no fancy mosaics that I can see on the floor. But from up here, we do get a much better view of the farm building over there. Look, got the entire collapsed roof. We can see a section of tiling left right on the end. Someone's got their satellite dish up here. Got some sort of obelisk there. What have we got down there? That's where we started with the seating. Let's go and explore. Right, we're going to try going up another floor. We're now on the roof. And we can look down into the villa. See a lot of graffiti. Oh well, that is not in great condition pigeons. Looks like at one stage someone's keeping livestock in there because it smells quite strongly of cattle. Wow. What incredible architecture though. And I don't know how well you can see this but we can see the other zodiac symbols down on the ground. So look, there is a crab. We've got Cancer there. We've got Pisces over there. All the way over there. I'm not sure if you can see. I, I don't know what that is. That's the end of some kind of sea creature or a snake or something. So I guess the zodiac symbols went all the way around the outside of the second floor and then looking all the way down to the ground floor, if you look down there, look, there's, there's a bird, there's something else covered in cattle dung. So following independence, uh, in the 1960s, this was actually a women's college. It would appear that it fell into disrepair after the revolution in 2011. So since then we've had squatters move in, um, one of whom is very kindly showing me around. But it really could do with some sort of heritage organization coming in here and doing some repairs, because it's not looking great. 
place is in quite a sad state of repair, as you can see as we look down. I mean, the roof's all overgrown and then lots of graffiti and damage to the main building in there. Green tiling there, car's still there, excellent. I guess in a sense it's good that there are families living in here now because they must stop people coming in here and graffitiing and damaging the place, but... Oh look, Taurus. I don't know what that one is. Oh, there's a staircase leading all the way up. And there's where we came in. And there's the motorway. All right, let's go down the staircase. Trying our hardest not to slip and fall through this dodgy gap. Don't really understand the setup here. Where, where exactly do you actually get into the villa? It doesn't seem to be in here. Some kind of mangy form of toilet. Maybe through here? I don't know. Nope. I'm, how am I getting lost already? We've already been in here. Okay. So not through here. So if we continue down, perhaps? Oh. 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 We're coming into someone's living room, so I'm going to turn the camera off now. 